cars are finally here. Or even better yet, a flying suit that I'll show you at the very end of this video. Now watch this clip. Oh my goodness. The car is literally flying. It doesn't even need a runway. It's just taken off from the grass. So if you wanted to fly this thing, would you need a driver's license or would you need a flying permit? Or neither, because technically you can't get pulled over in the sky. You know what I'm saying? That is sweet. So apparently this is a speedboat. Yo, that looks more like a whale than a whale looks like a whale. It even comes out of the water like whales do. I'll take 10. All right, we got a flying boat. It's literally a boat with a glider attached to it. These people are trusting an inflatable tube with some fabric a thousand feet above of water. These people are definitely strong enough to get into the salty platoon. That's all I gotta say. I have dozens of more crazy videos. This video gets insane. So watch till the very end. All right, what is this now? Holographic glasses? <gasps> if you own one of these, you don't even need a TV. Okay, this is getting too advanced. Pretty soon they're gonna microchip our brains and the next thing you know, there's gonna be a zombie apocalypse. Oh my God, you can play Minecraft? <gasps> I hate you guys for wanting this. I hate you guys for that. Oh my gosh, you can literally like put a hologram over something if you want to fix it. I can become a plumber without knowing anything. <laughs> robot does gymnastics. Okay, this robot's like a ninja turtle. If the ninja turtle lost a lot of weight and it makes little zew zew noises. Okay, <laughs> now he's just trying to show off. It looks like the end of those sitcom videos, you know, where they jump up in the air and like pretend they're all happy. <laughs> oh my God, he's dancing. What can he do? So this is a real life hoverboard that can go thousands of feet up in the air. How cool would it be to hop on one of these things instead of getting in a car? How do they not fall off? There's like nothing to hold on to. You just have to have really good balance. If I would hop on this thing, I would go. <gasps> it's a real life lightsaber. Look, Hacksmith Industries. I know you don't know me and I don't know you but please do me a salad and send me one of these. It literally rips right through metal. Oh, I've seen this before. He's snowboarding behind a drone that's pulling him. You know what would make this a lot cooler though? If he was sledding instead of snowboarding. Oh, look how high he is in the air. What a beast. But that's still nothing compared to what's later on in this video. Why ride a bike when you can ride a tire? That's sweet though. Look at that. I feel like it'd be really dangerous though. Like look how easy it would be to fall off. He managed to do a wheelie with only one wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Tricks on a fly bar. Oh, this thing. I've seen people do like backflips on these. Like it's absolutely crazy the amount of talent that these people have. Like that. <laughs> oh, we picked up his friend. That would be me getting picked up by my flying cool friend. And then he dropped me like a piece of plastic. There's no way this is real. It literally just floats on top of the water by like a little tail or something. It looks like Vector's ship from Despicable Me. Look, it's all fun and games until this thing hits a rock. Then it's folding like a pancake. Oh, it's the Domino's pizza delivering car. I want this in my neighborhood. How cool would that be? You literally see a robot drive up to your house and drop off a steaming pizza. I feel bad for the delivery driver. He lost his job to a robot. <laughs> car drives sideways? Whoa, that is awesome. Why couldn't I have a car like this when I was taking my driver's test? How easy would that be to parallel park? Yeah, I'll tell you why, Josh, because this car probably cost a billion quadrillion dollars and I don't have that. Look at the lights though. You could pull any girl you want with this car. I would buy this car just for the tires alone and like the exterior of the car. That's dope. <laughs> Apparently this guy surfs on a drone. Okay, now this is on my bucket list. So is that drone made for surfing or did this guy just hop on a drone and say, hmm, I'm going to surf on a drone today. Either way, I am doing it. So stay tuned. I'd take any of these inventions, even this weird looking moped. <gasps> Wait, it turns into a jet ski? I was about to dog on this thing until I saw it float on the water. Oh my gosh, look how fast it goes too. And there's like no transition from water to land either. It's just so easy. Robot soccer player! Honda made a soccer playing robot. <laughs> look at him celebrate, he's so happy for himself. Strapping a jetpack to a human, what could go wrong? That's sweet though. Oh, look how fast he's going. If the other ones weren't dangerous enough, this one definitely is. They're like thousands of feet up in the air. <laughs> you couldn't pay me enough to do that. Wow, these people have some balls to be doing this stuff. That's just crazy. Now that's cool. But not as cool as a full-blown Iron Man suit that actually flies. I'd rather have this suit than actual Iron Man's because if somebody comes close, you can just blast them with your fire thing. <laughs> Apparently this robot picks up garbage and throws it away. Oh, it literally picked up a cigarette butt. Oh, that's awesome. Now this is an invention that we actually needed. Mr. Beast, if you see this, let's team up and buy one of these. Save the planet. Okay, these things scare me. So an artist makes these and they literally are controlled by wind. So whenever a wind picks up, they start rolling. If this thing was chasing me, no offense to the creator, but I'm roundhousing it. I don't even care. Like that's terrifying. But anyways, this little ring thing works as a mouse. So you literally just like move your finger around and whenever you tap, it clicks. How come nobody thought of this sooner? Like that's actually super, super cool. Does that say police? So you're telling me cops in Dubai not only drive brand new Lamborghinis, but drones too? Look, if you steal something, there is a thousand percent chance you're getting caught. Like no if, ands, or buts. They've got all the equipment, dude. Just don't even try. There's another one? This one looks a lot faster though. The other one was like a Walmart version of this. That's sweet. Oh, it turns into a bike too? Okay, this thing's on another level. It's not even on the same playing field as the Dubai drone one. 
Dubai, you gotta step up your game. Never thought I'd be saying that. So this car can apparently take the place of semi-drivers. How does it have enough power to pull like thousands of pounds? Looks like truck drivers will become a thing of the past. Bravo to whoever made this, bravo. So this is the world's first transparent TV. That's pretty cool. It just looks like a little sheet of glass. They're using it as a menu too. Why would you let people touch a screen at a restaurant? You're gonna get a kid with Dorito fingers feeling up the screen and getting it all dirty. A flight simulator? So the first thing that comes to mind is if you crash, do you just burst into flames and die on impact? Yo, look how realistic that looks though. Yo, that's sweet. Okay, this isn't realistic though because weird people didn't clap when you landed the plane. The world's first VR bike controller. Whoa, it looks like Skyrim. But the real question is, can you get off the bike and rob a building like GTA? Now, if they would implement that feature, I could plan what I'm gonna do in real life. Life. That was a joke. I was kidding. Or was I? Inflatable bike? What? How would that work? You literally blow it up like an air mattress? What if it pops? <laughs> then what? Oh, look how silly it looks. Your friend has to go on a bike ride and you pull up on one of these? Man walks on water? Let me change that. Man bounces on water. This is literally like a water pogo stick. You see girls tanning on the beach and you pull up on one of these? Sup, ladies? You like what you see? I'm surprised I have a girlfriend. Is an innovative sealing technology that seals a bag for you. I want this. Whenever I go to put the garbage out, I touch a texture like applesauce, but it smells like dookie. It puts new bags in too? Take my money. <laughs> Take it. Take it, please. So this chess game allows you to play with people from around the world without sitting next to them. So you're telling me we have the technology to play board games with people from around the world, but we can't frost a whole Pop-Tart? We need to get our priorities straight here. Someone's not doing their job. Holographic runner. Oh, they do this so you have somebody to run with so it's not as boring. Why don't you make something like this for us lazy people? You know, like a holographic couch sitting person so you can watch Netflix with somebody? Like, why does it have to be running? I don't like to run and I like to be with people, you know? Come on, make that next. I'll buy it right away. <gasps> Yo, that would be cool, adding an extra finger. You see, these people are using it for real purposes. I'm just thinking it would be cool to, you know, give a person a wet willy in both ears at the same time. So this is virtual reality, but on steroids. How you might ask? Well, you literally sit in a ball and it feels like you're moving. I want this thing so bad. Imagine like flying an airplane and it actually feels like you're flying. <gasps> you can play multiplayer too? Oh, that is so cool. I want this. So if you shoot their car, does the car explode? And if the answer is no, I don't want it anymore. Airbag jacket. Whoa, look at his jacket, it just inflated. Dude, I would run into things, not on accident, but on purpose. I would hop on that inflatable bike from earlier and just run headfirst into a brick wall. <laughs> so apparently this bike can go on all terrain, snow and land. Ooh, get that inflatable jacket and head to the skate park. I'd be the Tony Hawk of this scooter. <laughs> Whoa, it can go through like heavy terrain too. Wonder how much they cost. I would get one if it's cheap, but I don't make that much from YouTube, so subscribe. The world's first entirely solar-powered camper. Yo, that is sweet. With today's prices of gas, you could probably buy like 10 of these for the price of one gallon of gas. Look, it's even got a bed and like a kitchen. Does it come with the grill too? <laughs> if that's the case, I'll buy 10. <laughs> and finally, the moment we've all been waiting for. The world's first flying suit. Woo! Oh my God, he's literally flying. For centuries, we have tried to achieve this dream of flying without a plane. And we finally did it. And they're using it for good too. Look at him. He's rescuing somebody on a mountain by floating. 